Well, it's time to take a look at the Hall Effect Sensor Demo LabVIEW project. I have my Hall Effect Sensor connected to the digital input number 0 on connector B. I have the VI running at the moment. You can pick whatever DIO channel you would like, and I'm displaying the state of that channel, and then also interpreting that as the last magnetic pole that was applied to the sensor. Right now I'm moving a magnet near the sensor and flipping the uh, pole orientation which is simply by moving the magnet around a little bit. Now if you'd like to use a different digital I.O. channel you can certainly do that. The selection is made before the while loop though so that means if you pick a different D.I.O. you will then need to restart the V.I. Now here I'm using a scalar control for the DIO selector. And then convert that to an array data type and use that as the input to the low level open VI. And then this task is passed to the low level read VI that actually reads the state of the digital input. I need to pick that out as a scalar boolean and then I'm displaying that state back here and then also interpreting that state as the last poll that was sensed. Let me take a moment to point out how you can adjust the color of a boolean indicator. Right click and select properties. Here you see the default colors showing up. Here's where you can insert your own text. And click this one to select a different color. So it's pretty easy to create your own customized indicators. Now the air cluster is passed along and eventually ORed with the stop button. So an air condition or the pressing the stop button will break us out of the while loop, pass through the simple air handler, and then execute a software reset of the MyRio. Right now I'm pacing the loop at one millisecond per pass, and that makes the VI fairly responsive if you're doing rapid changes of the magnetic field.